Oh my god, I can't move my face. I just realized that you can't take me seriously as I give you a major life update with this semi-dried mud mask on my face. six months since I last filmed a vlog, but I've really been craving creating content and so I decided today is the day. I just took a quick body shower because last night we went out, hence my raspy voice, and I'm about to get dressed and go for lunch. We are going to try, I think, Happy or this new place called Flow. Spoon is thriving. I just trimmed her leaves, so ignore the mess. But doesn't she look amazing? I did a little Instagram video with my skincare, but I actually was reading and apparently I don't layer my skincare products on correctly. So I'm going to show you how I do that the right way. And then we'll get dressed and go for lunch. I mean, this is just not enough. I want one of those mirrors where I can like open the door. Also, yes, my dad put Peter's picture here. So if you know me, you know that I absolutely despise my bathroom. I honestly think it's like the most disgusting place ever. But alas, while I live at home and I want to film content related to beauty, we're gonna have to shoot in this disgusting studio. To clean my face in the mornings, I actually don't cleanse. I use, unfortunately, a cotton pad, but I am on the hunt for reusable face wipes or like face cloths. Adding rose water. I just prefer rose water to toner because it's way more natural. I love the smell, some people hate it, but I think it's more natural, it's easy on the skin, and it's pure. When it's cold, it feels so good on your skin. Apparently I'm really harsh on my face, like when I wipe, I'm like, ugh, and you're not supposed to tug at your skin because that'll take away from its elasticity. I use this in the morning because I don't like to cleanse my face twice, unless I like really need to, you know? Sometimes your girl's got pretty dirty skin. You want to see it? I don't want, secretly love looking at it. Look how disgusting that is. Ew! Ew! Next, I got this game-changing product. It is the Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I will say, it can upsell me absolutely anything at Sephora. I was talking to this woman about the products I need, and she said, because I have combination slash acne-prone skin, you should try a gel. It's way better for you than a lotion. And I was first like, okay, that's a bit rude. But she was so right. Using a gel has actually changed the game for my skin. I use it as like a base layer um, before I put on any lotion, any oils, and it's been really helpful. My skin has cleared up a lot. I mean, hello, friend. I no longer oil with my jade roller. I actually just use it to like help the gel moisturizer seep in and uh, this feels so good. Honestly, jade rolling feels really good and it helps to like make me look less puffy. But will it actually help with reducing fine lines and wrinkles? I doubt it because how can it? Next, I don't have my Origin Sheer Tint Release SPF 40. So what I do have is something similar by the French brand, Caudalie. It's the Vino Parfait, and it's a radiance tinted moisturizer with SPF 20. I might actually like it a little more than my Origins one, only because this kind of has your skin looking a little dull and matte, so on top of it, you'll see I add oil, and that just has me looking so fresh and bob, if I do say so myself. Oh, hello. It is a bit like clay chalky, you know, it has good coverage. I won't say it doesn't. Then add Dr. Andrew Way for Origins Mega Defense Barrier Boosting Essence Oil. And that, my friends, has me looking youthful, dewy. And I just press it. There you go. I want to see how fab my skin looks. I will show you. I'll catch you guys when I get dressed. Ugh, that is a dirty mirror. I am ready. I am wearing this fun skirt from Zara. And this top is also from Zara, and my hair is cut since the last time you saw me. I'm ready to go, waiting for Peter to pick me up, and we will fill our bellies with happy food. Say people come, say people 
for coal This particular time Was extra special I know you might be gone And the world may not know Still I see you celestial Too windy for a walk So we decided to come home And chill in the garden You like his shoes? I like his shoes, but what are you wearing? We're going to the desert, Tara. It's sand. <laughs> but why are you sandals. wearing? But why are you wearing women's sandals? Women's sandals, Tara. Obviously, you don't know. Really, you need to get, uh, you know, with the fashion. <laughs> I'm a Peter's daughter. I'm a Peter's what? <laughs> Like an eagle, you circle in perfect purple. So how come things move on? How come parts don't slow? When it feels like the end of my world. When I shoot, but I can't let you go. that the sandals I was wearing were ladies. They're feminine, yes. That means Jesus was feminine? These are Jesus' sandals. Though. Jesus can... We are going to the picnic. Yeah, we're going to the picnic. Would you like to take the table with you? What are you guys doing? We are relaxing. The light that you gave me When I'm in your shadow There's a feeling you gave me And never go I look fabulous. Going to make veggies for dinner while they play Call of Duty. edition I don't usually vlog on weekdays but I realized that the vlog that I did earlier this week had no outros so alas here we are at like probably 11 p.m. on a Wednesday night I'm just going to prop you here and I figured we could chit chat while I put on a face mask if I sound weird it's because I have my retainer in it's really cute I know also let me just put this out there so we can both address the elephant in the room I don't know what to tell you. My job is really stressful. I'm using the Glam Glow Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. Honestly, I just got it as a freebie in my gift bag from Sephora, so I thought, why not? And since my skin needs a little midweek love, I figured we could have a chit chat while I put this mud mask on. Oh, this is cute. What is this? This is so ugly. I couldn't tell you why, but my camera keeps turning off every five minutes. Should we discuss my hair go? I thought for a second I would just address why I moved to Dubai because I realized that I went from being in New York to being in Colorado to being in Dubai and not ever explaining what happened. So, officially graduated from the university. I actually always knew I was going to move back. One, because my partner lives here. Two, because I thought I could save a lot of money living at home and I am doing that. But it is hard because I moved back and then a month later I started working at the same company I used to work at, which if you don't know, I work at Ogilvy. I'm a strategic planner, so I basically do uh, new business ventures, workshops, strategy, plans, crisis comms, an array of different things. And I love my job. I love what I do. I work at an amazing company, but it is the same company I once was at. So living at home, again with the family, and working at the same company was really hard for me because I slipped back into my old lifestyle. 
Getting a chance to restart is an amazing and very rare opportunity and I felt like I got off to a rocky start. So I kind of had like a good sit down chat with myself. When I didn't have a mud mask on, I essentially told myself that I was going to change the way that I do my life here and make sure that it is the active lifestyle that I want to be living, that it is feeling challenged and I have a work-life balance and that I am doing exactly what I want to do, not doing what I feel pressured to do. So ultimately my goal is to save as much money as possible and I want to just really enjoy being here because Dubai is not forever. I know some of the people who watch my videos are based here so then you know. It's very transient, people come in and out and it's my third time back here. So you know, it's always be home, my family is here but I want to make the most of it this time because I feel like my next move, I might not be coming back for a while. Whenever that is, wherever that is. I'm figuring it out day by day, I want to lead a more active lifestyle, I want to be creating more content, I want to be not feeling pressured by like social obligations. Set these three things out for myself and I am hopefully striving towards that. With that, I guess if you have any content ideas, any people you should, you think I should collaborate with here in the UAE, let me know. My day in the life of a Columbia University student video just hit 10,000 views and I actually can't believe that 10,000 people on the internet watched me go about my daily life. Personally, I love watching these, so if you want to see more of them, shoot me a comment down below, and if you have any other ideas, feel free to drop those there. If you want to find me on social channels, I'm at featuring Tala, both on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Please, please don't forget to subscribe, because it really does help my channel. While you're there, tick the notifications bell, so you're always updated. I'll see you guys in my next video, and until next time, I'll love you later. Bye. I